Excited. Got to be honest with you. Got the support crew ready. Everyone's been up for about an hour and a half. Apart from me. Um, and we're about to kick in the guts. Made the mistake of leaving the light on last night, and uh, I can assure you that you know the west coast of the South Island's got a rival for mosquitoes because up north here. I mean, you can have a look at how many we've had to bang in the car on the way here, but I've just been eating all night, very poor sleep, waking up with a slightly sore throat. So this is officially the first day, and uh, looking forward to meeting up with uh, Kiwis all over New Zealand in every nook and cranny. Apart from this bugger, it's doing about 30k, and we've got to get right up to Cape Ranga to meet breakfast. Come on, pal. Kia ora, how are you? Good, thank you. Going all right? So you're going in blood. <laughs> That's his style, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the thing is, you know, the one thing you can guarantee is there's going to be a few Kiwis with a good sense of humour. It's just, oh, yeah, go down that way, mate. You'll be all right. You know? He'll end up sinking. They'll be just squealing, but they'll probably be in the bushes watching. <laughs> oh, check that out, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Manuka yeah. honey. Manuka honey, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pride is pride and joy, and we've been given, like, a... Uh, Tell you what, I've got a sore throat today too, so I'm just yeah, 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 I'll right, yeah, yeah. hoe into that. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much. Well, we're at Cape Rianga. The mist is rolling in, it feels quite spiritual, never been here before. And North Cape, the northernmost point of New Zealand, is just up here. The sun's rising, it's the dawn of a very exciting few days for us. We're about to make it right down to Bluff. With luck. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here we go. Three, two, one, top to bottom. Challenge starts now. Go. We're about five minutes into it. And already we're in the middle of nowhere in some pretty boggy terrain, and we haven't even made the sand yet of 90 Mile Beach. So watch my instructions, lay it down. Man, he's going, eh? <laughs> Has he got another plate on it? Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, done. She's on road legal. Hey, mate, I'm not the cops, you know? Yeah, no, <laughs> don't, don't worry about answering to me. Oh, 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 <laughs> I've owned this luxurious FJ40 for approximately <laughs> 10 years. Uh, we're getting the big escort down 90 Mile Beach. we got Mad Max, the Maori Mad Max, out to my left. <laughs> A one-off truck, you can probably hear it. And there's one or two up front that rival it, too. The old diff lock's on. Work it down. Oh! Got him, got him. Feel that bounce? Well, there's lesson number one. Don't dawdle around and try and tighten the rope up. If it's a good rope, just kick it in the gut. If in doubt, feed it. Feed it. <laughs> well, we've just had our first spring tide, and uh, it's legit. The waves are literally forcing us right up into the dunes, so it's little wonder that our guides are starting to look left for a forestry break. You've got the baby in the back, too. Yeah, do you want to hold it? <laughs> yeah, you'll be running for five minutes next, So we bumped into Kamal, who's the uh, the first guy to say to us, hey, hey, you're going on a bit of tar seal? And I said, yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to find the guy from Kai Tai Fire. He's going to feed us a few chilies, which is going to give us the credits to be able to go on a little bit of tar seal. Want a white ride, bro? Jump in, mate. Well, we helped this boy out. I mean, there's got to be tar seal credits in that one, surely. Guy had lost his horse, the thing had bolted on him, gave him a ride. Didn't do much in the way of helping him pull it in, but nonetheless, he's got the horse. I'm claiming 100k on road for that. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe we can cross the road. How many do I need to do? Well, I'd say three. Oh, that's warm. Oh, that's Good man, it won't hit you yet. Get as many down as you can. Mm. Yeah, it'll be hitting around right now. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, shit, that's really bad. 
My tongue's gone numb. Day one's not over yet, but we're on the Rawini Ferry in the Hockey Anger. We're on the scenic route. We've just missed a turn off, but we've decided to keep on going. I mean, we've only been going 12 hours so far. And in that 12 hours, we've done exactly 240k, so we're doing about 20k an hour. So it's rough going, and uh, we're about three hours behind schedule on day one. Well, we've finally got to Dargaville Beach. About 10k's to go. Oh, what a day, what a day. by fur seals on the trip. Made a hasty retreat, though. Ha! Brilliant. Mate, it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it, when he's got his road tyres on and <laughs> our rescue vehicle's stuck. Mind you, we are laden with a lot of weight. Well, this is quite amusing. This is our guide who's meant to be showing us uh, to the top of the sand dunes, which is, uh, if you spin around, which is where we're parked. So uh, the FJ's got there. The Lux is, <laughs> is battling at the moment. Might just sit here and watch for a minute. <laughs> oh, sh... <laughs> oh, we've lost him. He just started up and drifted over. He's made it. He's made it. Well, he's made it somewhere, but now he's just he's even more stock. Right, well, you showed us how to get up. Show us how to get down. I'll follow you. <laughs> Master of the sand dunes. Oh, I don't know that. Certainly put it through its paces, <laughs> and it's what we need to do. Our next scheduled stop was the Puhoi pub, and on the way we heard the news of the devastating earthquake in Christchurch. And after seeing some of the scenes on the news, it was no surprise that management at Toyota called us into Auckland for a meeting to decide exactly what should happen next. In light of the dreadful news that we've had today from Christchurch, the top to bottom is going to be postponed indefinitely. Our love and thoughts and best wishes are with you guys. Well, it's the beginning of day three, although we've had sort of two months between day two and day three. But we're in Puhoi at the pub. And 18 days from now, with luck, fingers crossed, we're going to be hitting bluff. See, this is one of the challenges of this particular job. You pour a beautiful beer like that, and you've got to give it away to somebody outside because you're driving. Oh, there you are, mate. Cheers, thank you. There's a bar getting you a beer, don't you? Well, uh, it's strawberry blonde. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like shaking. calling it banana red, isn't it? You know, strawberry blonde. Cheers. What a truck. Have you had any hairy moments in it? Some. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that sort of mud through it if you haven't had some hairy moments. Yeah, oh, yeah. We've just left Puhoi. We're on our way to Port Waikato. This is Jared, and uh, this is his day in the sun. He's our support driver from Toyota. And uh, in order to be able to drive through the tar seal of Auckland, I hate you, Auckland, um, I've got to take 10 at 10 metres topless, the three Ts. <laughs> Got me with nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten.
vehicles turned up with some fuel, quite literally, and check out the FJ. Well, we're with Moss. Check him out. All right. He's putting a bit of pressure on us to follow him, and we most certainly will. Ah, it was always going to happen. I got a wee bit too excited. I can't even open the door to get out, to be honest. You, uh, you do a fair bit of four-wheel driving, do you? Um, I've done, yeah, I've done some in the past, yeah. <laughs> and your, uh, your lady's just saying that she's going to take the steering wheel pretty soon. Yeah, she, no, she did, we, uh, last time we out here, she took over and she did a, a really good job, actually, so showed me up a little bit. Oh, thank God she wasn't driving when I got stuck <laughs> in the hole. <laughs> it really would have hurt my feelings. Respectfully. <laughs> well, you've got to enjoy this, don't you? Oh, my God. And down we go, you beauty Shit. Jesus, the guys have got it on their roof. Meaty. Well, I did get it stuck in the uh, in the drink today, but uh, I don't get eager today. Look at this. I was worried about getting a bloody wooden spoon for getting stuck in the water. But... <laughs> start today. We've been on the road since quarter past five and we're off to see the weatherman, Tamati. But to be fair, I know what he's going to say. The weather is shizen. Yeah, you got a pretty interesting story about your FJ. Uh, a very interesting story, yeah. I was lucky enough to win a um, winning wheel on the lotto. Went down to Wellington but even before I went down to see how much we'd won. Uh, I was in a Toyota and says, I want one of those trucks. I want one of those trucks. <laughs> we'll see you later. Cheers, um, guys. Ready, set, go. We lucked in. This guy, Elf, who's a local farmer, is going to point us in the right direction for Raglan. Well, how about this? The rugged west coast. Check that out. So where are we going, mate? We're heading down this way. Yeah. Uh, the gate down here. Yeah. Down to your left. And a pretty slippery track. Just head off down the coast. How about that for directions? Follow that road there. Can't go wrong. Can't miss Raglan. Go 100k that way. Oh, that's pretty arduous sort of a spot here. We've got to get down to that coast. Well, look at this, the west coast. We've invested an hour coming down here, and that's where we meant to cross. But the storm has pushed the tide, and there's no way we can. You lost, fellas? <laughs> Mate, where's that accent from? Wales. And of all the places you could have come, you chose New Zealand on the west coast. Yeah, not the best of days. So are there any other shortcuts that we can get down this way with? No, not a chance. Just straight back to the road. That's the only hope you got. Oh. Mate. Mate, this is bloody interesting, I tell you. This takes a bit of a bit of concentration, that's for damn sure. Well, I suffer from horrible claustrophobia, and this is the Tar Seal Challenge. Worst part of the day for me, best part of the day for the crew. It's not pleasant, mate. There's been uh, we've already seen like a, uh, a cave wetter. Where, where do we go from here then? Down through here, huh? Oh, I'm not doing that, mate. Yeah. This is the one thing, the one thing, and being buried alive in a coffin, that really scares me. Push through and you'll be right. This is as bad as it gets, mate. This is horrific. Oh, Tar Seal Challenge complete. Ha! Woo! Yeah, um, I thought it would be useful just to keep the spare parts because I was able to locate this other one and it's actually wor worked out to be um, be really good. What, what would you call that blue? Uh, That's not factory, is it? Is it? I'd call it royal blue. OK, there you go. Seeing we're into the era of royal weddings and all that sort of thing. Well, we came very close to being uh, Harry and William's uh, stepfather. Well, there you go. We'll leave that there. <laughs> 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 well, day four, what a cracker. We've had four seasons in one day, but I tell you what, the people have been top, and the countryside's been fantastic. Well, we're in the mighty Waikato. We've just left Raglan. We're headed for New Plymouth via Tikawiti. Go figure. <laughs> Anyhow, about 10 hours' time. 
we should hit it. Is there any shortcuts up here? I reckon if you actually went up the top, you might be able to get one over the top there, so we should be cool. Is it uh, pretty gnarly? It's very gnarly, mate, but so. Already, eh? I'm sure you've got the vehicles that will actually do it, so. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what we're after. Well, I tell you what, I hope it bloody saves us some time because <laughs> this is certainly pretty gnarly. Might not look it, but there's a big drop to the right there. Get up there, get up there! You beauty. Right, so much for that saving us time. That's added to the journey. Well, I'm following through on Simon Gilbert's recommendation to visit Hadad's menswear in Otoronga. Get myself a hat and a little bit of kit for the uh, for the deep south. You guys are uh, is uh, splendidly dressed as always. Oh, as always, never right. change. Okay, what are we going to get him, John? Well, look, mate, I'll, I'll, I'll do as I'm told. Yeah. The one here. That's it, isn't it? I'm not sure about you, but I reckon. I reckon you can't go. You can't go better than that, can you, mate? Look at that. That. Hey, what do you think about this? I think that's splendid. Have you got any that covers the ears? I'm, I'm just thinking about the, the depths of the South Island. Yeah, yeah. back cap. Yeah, yeah, we'll try that. You see, there you go. There we try go. That one. There's the other, the other, the other option. That's. I think that's me. To be fair. Well, cheers, fellas. That's absolutely Thanks, perfect. Mark. Thanks very much, Mark. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Well, we're just out of Tikawiti. Yep. And Carl, one of the first uh, owners of a FJ in New Zealand. Any stories about it? Yeah, you know, I was out the back, never, of, uh... back of Ari the other day <laughs> on my brother's place, and he was ahead of me on the motorbike, and it was so steep that the dogs were falling off the back. And I shot around them and passed them and took off up the hill and got about three quarters of the way up and thought, come and but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you... it, it went all the way up, and that's with, just with road tyres. Just tires. with road tyres. Yeah. So you can swear by the performance of it. Yeah, I mean, it's no. pretty uh, pretty true to form, pretty true yeah. to the heritage. Well, it's not all bad, is it, when the locals show you around when they know you're running behind time. These guys are big Toyota fans. The only trucks they own are Toyotas, and they're showing us the back end of their farm to get through to New Plymouth. Woo! Mate, I tell you what, a horse is a pretty good way around a farm, isn't it? <laughs> well, that saves us a bit of time. Up and over the hill, New Plymouth. <laughs> Well, this is the benefit of doing it in winter. We're about to catch up with Tamari. The weather's coming in sideways, and today we're heading back up to the central plateau through Whangamomana and the Forgotten Highway. Apparently it's amazing. The locals have all pointed us in that direction. Fucking wild goat, mate. Man, just over there. We've seen everything. We've seen pigs, goats. We've even had a deer. I reckon we'd be feeding the crew from what we've seen. In here, back in the cab and keep on driving. Well, we really are on the back blocks now. We haven't seen anyone for hours, and we're on our way to uh, Whangamomana, which is one of the most isolated places of New Zealand. Beautiful scenery. We've, uh, we've come around the corner and uh, met a truck. Gave it a wide berth and got sucked. Sucked right into the side here. But it got out. We didn't need a rope. Highly embarrassing, though. Right, I mate, after, after driving us off the road... <laughs> You better give us a tip as to how to get the Fongamomana. Slowly, mate. Yeah, nah. fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Remove dirty footwear outside, thank you. Have you got your passport with you, sir? Passport? Well, you're in the Republic, a Fongamomana. Got your passport. Do you need one? Yes, because okay. otherwise you have to stay here. I like that. I'd better buy one. Fongamomana passport. I'm now officially a member of the Republic. So what's this big knees up going on here? Oh, this is Republic Weekend. It's um, four and a half thousand people come here to, to celebrate our independence from the rest of New Zealand. Well, Rumour has it that there was a goat once that was president. There was a goat once, and, and they, they, well, the goat Billy was duly elected as president. Yeah. And so, uh, and he unfortunately died in office. Uh, well, somebody shot him. No, he just passed away. Oh, that's good. I oh, mean, if somebody, him. if somebody had shot him, yeah. you know, then surely they'd have been hung. More than likely. Yeah. yeah slowly. Well, I tell you what, we're clipping trees, and the GPS doesn't even know where we are. All going well, we should end up around about by, uh, by the tunnel. We'll have to wait and see. Well, well, bugger me, what do you know? You get to the top and there's a bloody locked gate. So we're having to back our way out. Oh, check this out for a tunnel. Bit of wood up the top to keep it reinforced. And you don't want to stick your arms out the window here. Hey, mate. I saw you from across the road and couldn't help but notice your tray was empty. 
we kind of need a favour. And oh, uh, <laughs> probably work something out for you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not tar seal, and technically, what's about to happen is not tar seal. <laughs> you got to get creative. Adversity breeds genius. <laughs> we're on tar seal, but we're not breaking any rules. Well, day seven and the temperature's sitting on a big donut. We're at zero degrees, early start, and we didn't make our destination last night, so today we've got to put the foot up it. We're heading from effectively Rangitau on the central plateau over to the Hawke's Bay. Right away. It actually is all Toyota. All the axles are Toyota out of an 80 series Land Cruiser. The motor's out of a Toyota Lexus V8. I'm just getting it with Dan Kelper, national off-road champ for this sort of off-roading. We're a long way from emergency services. And he's just handed me a neck brace and a helmet and said, hold on for dear life. Basically going up, what sort of degrees is that? 60 degree hill? Shitloads. Shitloads. We'll talk about a privilege getting Namatea Station opened up for us to carve our way across to the bay on these beautiful roads. Four seasons in one day as usual on this trip, but uh, I'm loving every moment of this. It's stunning. So how about this? The various shepherds are taking us through their various territories. Whoops, oh, Daisy, oh, hold your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and the FJ's just eating it up. We're going up 45 degrees at the moment. Heading on our way to Hawke's Bay. And this is the most picturesque trip I've ever taken in my life. Look at that for a view. This is the biggest station in the North Island. And gotta be the coolest station if not in New Zealand in the world. So how, how many acres? 75,000 all up. Yeah. So you're right across here to the, to the far ranges? Yep, the snow-covered ranges. Right the way around. And how long have you been working here for? I've been back for three years, but I just worked there for two years, about ten years ago. You well. over to Europe, did you? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't actually. No. Chasing after some <laughs> Sheila? <laughs> no, I've done a bit of that, yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you caught her, you'd bring her up here, wouldn't you? This is, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but I'm feeling a bit romantic. Are uh, yeah. <laughs> you? Right, so this is the Tarsiel challenge for the day. This dog's clearly a bad boy, and uh, he's got this on, which is effectively a uh, electric shock provider. Now, I've got a... Got to cop one at eight, which is the maximum. Hey! Oh. Ah! Hey! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's not pleasant. Yeah, it's it on. I'll, I'll just do that, hey? Crank it up. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, God, I love the crew. How are they good? <laughs> Bloody rural humour. <laughs> Tar seal challenge done. Just got a couple of Frankenstein bolts in the back of the neck now. <laughs> We've just followed Captain Trunky and he's just given us through a puddle and he's just dropped the clutch and done that to us. Well, that's the first clean we've had to do of the trip. Through a dirty, underhanded tactic from our other co-driver. Well, Scott Lawson's just pulled up and he's a champ man to have when you're about 10k out of uh, Hastings because he's just opened the gates right down to the river. And so the last 10k is going to be along the river bend. Hastings, here we come. We're on the beach at Waimarama and we're heading south to Cape Turn again. It's a beautiful day, in fact it's absolutely perfect. Oh mate, you're a local, eh? Yeah. How long you been here? Four months. Oh, you're not a local then, no. you've got to do 20 years before you get that, no, that no, tag. No, 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 I'm the deputy mayor already. <laughs> Well, the beach access down the coast has been hamstrung somewhat by the, uh, the storm and the floods that they had a couple of weeks ago, so to the hills we go. What are you doing out here, sir? How are you, boss? I'm fine, you yourself? Right? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. How do we get down the coast there? It's going to be pretty tough at the moment, uh, eh? It is a bit tough here. You've had a hit. Eight or ten inches of water in a couple of weeks or a couple of days. <laughs> are, you, are you in this bus? Is this yes, your... Exactly. Oh, righty, eh? We couldn't get out. To Wanda. Good place to be stuck, though, eh? You've got to get across the river. There's a little bit down there, but it's I think it's a metre and a half deep across there. Oh, that'll be fine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no worries. Go and get the camera locked. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Check that out. I mean, how high did that have to come? So the whole bridge has been destabilised. We've got no way over. We're going to have to turn around and head straight back up the road. What a bugger. So all the work you're doing here is as a result of the storm that came through? Yeah, all the slips. All Mate, we've just tried to get across the old bridge down there that's washed out. You'd know a few, uh, a few tricks as to how to get down the coast. You can't go around by the beach, can you? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Do you like your cricket? No. Yeah, you know David Bean, though, don't you? Oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> You come right down that valley, up over there, along here, down, down over the sedge, down that buddy ridge there, down over the ridge onto Pori Beach, and all the way down to Blackhead. Yep. And sneak around the corner past the lighthouse. Job done. We're cracking down the east coast from uh, Hawke's Bay through to the top end of Wire Rapid at 8. We've got a few problems though because there's been some washouts, a few creeks are gone, heaps of slips, and so we're having to re-navigate from our original plan, so anything could happen. <laughs> Run a bit dry. Only about half an hour with luck. Oh. The challenge is to tackle a ram. It's not just a bloody lamb. I've got to get one with a set of clangers on it. Oh, We've got him. Go. One ram down. Well, check this out. I mean, this is how mo boggy it is. We got down to here and had to pull our way out, but the big one locked in. So. <laughs> Pretty hard to get out of, that's for sure. Uh, it's not that hard, just run out of gas. You reckon? <laughs> well, day eight, I tell you what, it's been pretty frustrating. We've travelled the shortest distance and we've been in the hot seat the longest time. Everything, everything on this coast has been whacked by the weather bomb, so we're happy to get the wire wrapper. Well, start of day nine, and we're off to the capital city, Wellington, from the Wire Rapper. There's plenty of tarmac there. It's going to be a tough, uh, a tough challenge today, but we've got a couple of thoughts. How you going, mate? All right. Yeah, not too shabby. Just a story. We've uh, got ourselves a wee bit on the tar seal, so I need to do a challenge. Yeah. And I see you've got a couple of jackasses up there. Yeah, what do you want to do? Wouldn't mind riding one. Get on one. Go for it. They're eyeing us up, but they need to be ridden. Chuck them a bit of hay, and we're into it. And how do you get on their back? Just Launch yourself, really, pretty much. Yeah, single leg over. All good. <laughs> no worries. So sort of every second you ride it, you get about 10k of tar seal. This is the trap, the honey pot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I blew it. I had one chance. Got on his back, and now once bitten, twice shy. Bugger. Wow, check out that preview. That is beautiful. Where's the Gladstone pub? Back down the road. People are uh, likely still duck shooting, though, eh? No, nah, there'll be a crowd there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not near Mark, we'll make sure there is some five minutes. Right, eh? <laughs> this is for you, Barry. This is my tar seal challenge, and thank you so much for this. This is uh, just what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Barry. This will be the first beer that I ever leave. <laughs> well, as a former Wellingtonian, I can tell you that there's only one way over the rim of Tuckers, and that's on road. So I phoned a few mates at Kiwi Rail, and we're going to do it in style. Goodbye, pork pie style. <laughs> I'm really going to enjoy this ride, I can assure you of that. Are we standing up, looking at the front of the train? Brilliant. Good Jeez, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lot easier than driving up and over the hill, off-road, when there is no off-road. Cheers for this, mate. You've yeah, saved me a lot of embarrassment and punishment. <laughs> uh, no worries, Megan, no worries, mate. 
Well, day 10, and it started perfectly. A beautiful Wellington sunrise. Today, South Island and into Molesworth. Beautiful. Just getting the old trusty companion in there, Captain Trunky. They make a beautiful couple, don't they? How are you? Very well, thanks. Yeah, superb. Oh, you want to steer? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Really oh, well, I'm allowed to take the autopilot button off and actually take control of the vessel. Hit this button right here. Hit that button right there. Yep. yep. I am in control you are of in the vessel. Control. Right. Right. Just port five. Port five. Yeah, I mean, this truly is top to bottom. When you're actually driving the bit in the middle that links the two <laughs> islands, you're, uh, That's right. there's not many people that have done this. Where's the throttle? <laughs> too far away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Well, that signals fog, and coming through the fog is the mainland. Everything's lining up. Part two of the journey is going to be epic. Can't wait. Wahoi, South Island! Well, the great thing at the vineyards in Marlborough side, the obvious, of course, is the fact that you can actually pretty much negotiate the entire region through them, off-road. So, Tim, where are we going? Well, we're just going to head up past the bullshit here, up past the tree there, and up, up that bit of a gully, and then we'll just carry on up a spur right over the range, about 3,000, 3,500 feet, and down the other side. Vinny, you survived the North Island. Now it's time to test your legs in the south. Look at that for a view. Right back over Blenheim as we climb our way out of the... Uh, oh, we'll better concentrate here. And apparently up, up the top around the corner, we can see Cook Strait in the North Island. So that gives you an idea as to how high we're going. Oh, Oh, one mistake and it's your last, isn't it, really? Doesn't get any thinner, does it? Yeah, we, you're not too bad. You'll be right. They're the master of the understatement, <laughs> the mainlanders, aren't they? You know? Yeah, no, no, she'll be right. Oh! <laughs> Hope that was the bit he was talking about being precarious, because uh, if it gets any worse than that, <laughs> I might jump out. Well, there's a couple of wild goats, and uh, being men of the land, they've got uh, ways and means of ensuring that they don't cause too much trouble around these parts. It's like goat for dinner. There she is. It's a bit of tucker for us. Look at that. Smack. We'll strap that to the front. Out of that away is the Waihobi Valley, and just over that far range, you're, you're into Molesworth. Perfect. Uh, probably about three hours away by the long way. Yeah, it's always a long way with us. So three hours over the hill, and you find this. This is amazing. We spent a few That's nights good. in here. Here yeah, we do. No, we still use it. Made of uh, mud? Made of mud. How old and, is it? Uh, about 120 years, I think. 120 years? Yeah. Jeez, if those walls could talk, eh? They could, actually. Yeah, I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, that's the uh, most interesting uh, drive we've had thus far. Great. Yeah, I'm pleased <laughs> you enjoyed it. Anyway, carry on your way, miles with that way. OK, up the road, done. Cheers, mate. Well, it's been a long day. Started with the Inter-Islander, and we're finally in the South Island, and it's like a different world. It's good to be here. We've been up to 4,000 feet already on the way over from Ashworth Station, and Molesworth, well, it's just around the corner. So, too, a good night's sleep. Well, this is Molesworth. It's day 11. Day 11 of 20, and we're heading down. First stop, Hamner and then from there to Wiper. So, uh, big day ahead of us. It's beautiful big sky country, and uh, the weather's dawned as it should. It's gonna be a cracker day. Righty-o, so one of the challenges that somebody sent through is to see how many dogs we can get in the FJ. Get in there, Tiger. Get up, get up. Hey, George. Hey, George. Hey, George. Hey, George. Hey, George. Hey, George. Look at them. Get up, get up. They're just stoked. Get in there. 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 This is brilliant. Come on, you buddy. Well, Justin, you challenged us, mate, and here's your answer. Few. <laughs> <laughs> Ever seen anyone hoofed by one of these? Kicked? Yeah. Yeah, I got drilled not long ago. Oh, did you? The gut. Okay. Uh, what's the name of uh, a couple of paths that I have to go on to test the thing? But it's the end of it, you're going to try and go um, across the Guide River. Yep. Um, that should be in flood at the moment, so it'll be a good test for it. Righty eight. Um, Jim almost drowned a unit there a couple of years ago on what end. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good to hear. No wonder he's um, so keen to get us down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as funny as it was seeing how many dogs we could cram into the car, it's really left something of an odour. Uh, that and another couple of gifts, which uh, had to be tidied up. I think they were pretty excited. And we're certainly not. So, Jim, this is what the fuss is all about, eh? Yeah, this is the one. She's claimed a few. Yeah, I've done it twice. 
running a bit higher than this at the time. Yeah, just a wee bit of a pofo, really. Two o'clock in the morning, didn't read the water right. And come halfway up the driver's window and she's all over for <laughs> that. Oh, God, you got me nervous. You've sunk a couple in here, mate. Just don't forget that. <laughs> oh. I've also got myself a half moon before we <laughs> Yeah, OK, fair enough. Sure. This is the half moon that he's talking about. And we went hunting last night and the, I, I misjudged the calibre of the rifle and it kicked back slightly stronger than I thought and half mooned me, as they call it. They've all got them down here, those scars. Oh, God. It's halfway up the doors. Ah, uh, she's not bad. I might just wash the old hand out the window while we're going. Eating it up. The old FJ. She's a good swimmer. <laughs> The other thing you got to know about Jim is this handshake, mate. He, he bloody gives it to you, he really does. And then it's the kanga as well. We'd been warned before we came down. Yeah. And I can tell you that, uh, I mean, look at that, the blood's just slowly draining back into it. Good morning. I can assure you it's just as bad as they all say. You're full of shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of Molesworth, and we couldn't have stopped in a better place with better people. And the other thing is that I got a permanent reminder of it. <laughs> Ah, uh, a scar that will haunt me. The Molesworth Half Moon from the telescope of a rifle. Well, this is Jolly's Pass, wending its way down into Hamner. And uh, aptly named, might I add, because I'm looking jolly forward to getting out of the seat. After 12 days, I've started to develop a few aches and pains. So a little spa at the retreat, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Well, it's day 12 and we're just leaving Hamner, and who do we bump into but Rick with, uh, how you mate? <laughs> with the uh, best school bus I think I've ever seen. Except it's not for kids. This is a, uh, a station tour bus. Check out the ground clearance on that. Amazing. Has it been purpose-built? It was purpose-built from a Toyota coaster with uh, Toyota running gear. Yep. And uh, it's never let me down. You're, you're going across some serious flower river if you get this thing floating, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Had the odd wheel waving to the, uh, the fish in the river and this sort of thing. We could put the whole crew in here. <laughs> we could indeed. <laughs> but then what would we do with these trucks? Live with me. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Well, we're at Lock Hill Station, just out of Hamnet, and Hamish is taking care of us. He's going to show us one or two tracks through the farm and then do tag with the neighbour, who's hopefully going to get us pretty close to Christchurch. Hamish, thanks, mate, for the, uh, for the assistance today. And where exactly are we heading now? Straight up the gut there. Yep, yeah, straight south, so we're heading, heading that right down through. The far hills of Grampian Station we we're heading for. And then you tag and release to the next guy. Yep. Perfect. I like the way this works. You're bloody generous down south. You didn't quite get this up north. Take a look at yourself. Well, thank God we haven't got this in flood, because I tell you what, just judging by the, uh, the river banks, this thing could really rock and roll. Well, we're starting to get up. We're starting to get pretty close to the top of the range. And the wind's fair whipping through here, so, and it's cold, so our southerly might be coming with a bit of snow, with luck. So talk about southern hospitality. A guy called Ben from Heli Contracts has just turned up with a chopper. And he's welcomed the crew to come up so we can get a few aerial shots of the uh, of the FJ doing its work, so to speak. Mind you, I suppose it gives him a bit of a respite from what he's been doing over the last few months down in uh, in Canterbury. So there he is. There. Cheers, mate. We're getting to the end, but we're getting to the tough stuff. It does say something about the southern hospitality. Well, this is the Hurunui Tavern, and uh, here is uh, the original owner, John Haste, and apparently he haunts these parts. He's a ghost, and uh, he likes to, uh, likes to hang here because he can have a view of everyone who enters the pub and all that's going on. I can't say I feel a presence. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God, there he is, there! He's turned into our director. <laughs> <laughs> it's a modern-day version. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. We've finally made it. Christchurch City. But there's been a bit of tarmac, so I tell you what, tomorrow's going to be full of punishment. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, finally the road. We've been hammering this Rakai River for about two hours. 
and finally we find a bit of flat stuff to get on. Thank God for that. Oh, brilliant. Well, day 13, and this is probably the most picturesque day we've had thus far. We're en route to Erewhon, which is about five hours up the line. And how about this for fortunate? We've just missed this massive weather front that's about 50k up the valley. So fingers crossed that stays away. How cool is that? That's a, that's a, that's a Highland uh, goat or something. We asked whether we could have a ride on the bull, and uh, the farmer just said, no way, mate. <laughs> that thing will chew you up and kill you. Look at the horns on it. It's angry. They can smell your fear. fear that, oh, look at that. Look at that. He's just saying, get away from me. It's your favourite colour. Go on. You've got to touch him on the horns wearing a red shirt. Ah, he wants a piece of you, though, eh? You can tell it. He'd be, he'd be quite a good one to ride, though. You could grab a scruff of hair and just hold on like a possum on a back. Go on, then. Get out of it. Mate, look at the horns. Have you seen the horns on him? You get that in the wrong place, you're like a popsicle. I'll tell you what, I'm falling in love with the South Island again. This is just unbelievable. You just don't get this up north. In fact, you don't get this anywhere else on the planet. This is uh, a piece of paradise. And as you head out, you've come to the end of my place, and along the track in a couple of k's, there's a nice big creek running. It's just scout out the track, so there's a big hole. Oh, righty -o, so don't hit so, that pace. So don't go flying into it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, thanks, mate. Really appreciate you, no your hospitality and letting yeah. us through. It's been a pleasure. We've got the wind at our backs, and not too yep. far to go. You can see where you got just out of shape at the beginning there. And if you keep on that angle, it's going to ruin the trip. Over. <laughs> and be bloody embarrassing. So happy to get down that. Need to put the foot up it, though. Well, how about this? I'll tell you what, we're certainly testing the, uh, the FJ today. And she's coming through with a smile on her face. <laughs> Hold your teeth, mate. Mate, tell me, that's not serious four-wheel driving. So what's yeah. your oil with, the, uh, with getting across some of these rivers down here? Um, at Collins Place. At Collins Place, you'd probably find that it's reasonably high, but um, he'll tell you whether you can go through or not. Yep. But um, you might have to put the Clydes on the front. The horses? The horses. Oh, and drag it through. The horses will drag this through. Oh, brilliant. But, you know, Colin will tackle a big river with those horses. I'm not sure I'll tackle that. Yeah. Mind you, we're getting close to the end and it's not my car. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've made it to Erewhon. Spelt backwards, it's nowhere. And that's exactly where we are, because at the end of this road, there's nothing. And how are we going to get across that bloody river tomorrow? Let me touch and go. What? Yeah. So, how good are these boys at walking? <laughs> Walk Mate, through first. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, no, we'll do that, we'll do that. <laughs> Mate, how the hell are we meant to drive this across that? I just can't see that, that happening. <laughs> That's quite possibly the worst night's sleep I've ever had. See, this is what we've been doing every bloody day. But <clears throat> last night, you can hear that rain on the roof. It came bursting down. There's a southerly front that's moved in, and this bloody sleeping bag's just soaked up every bit of moisture off the side of the, of the tent. I'm getting ground seat, and my gumboots are filled up with water. Boom! Well, it's been raining all night, and the river's running pretty swift. It's dropped a wee bit, and I haven't given up hope of getting the FJ across. But we've got Colin up the far end. He's actually plotting a course for the Clydesies to take us across, just as a check. And if they do it sweetly, and the water's not too high, then we'll try and drown old Yella. <laughs> keep, keep the head coming across. Kick them in the guts if you have to and make them try a bit harder if, yeah, if yeah. they're not get working with you. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rightio, yeah. so the sensible thing to do here, Sit there. despite my years of experience on horses, is <laughs> to send a rider out first. Oh, but the thing is, Major here wants to lead. He doesn't like staying behind, so he wants to leap in. It doesn't look like I'm going to get my feet wet, to be fair. I mean, that's with a Clydesdale who have swum this river many times. You can imagine the FJ coming, even if, you know, we got a fair bit of speed on, it's just going to get to the middle and <laughs> we'll make bluff eventually, but it won't be in one piece. Mac has got a puncture. He's gone off up the hill, left the boys here to 
fix the puncture in the cold and the rain. What a show pony. They'll probably edit it and make it look like he fixed it. Oh, it's hard work, cold hands, you know. On a day like this, doing these old wheels up was quite unlucky. But don't worry, I've changed it and we're safe now. <sighs> Brilliant, man. Right on, mate. Day 14's really going down to Gurgler. First of all, no sleep. The tent was soaking. And uh, then we get a flat tire, then we can't forge the river, and now we're out of petrol. What else can happen? Well, we've made it to Straven, which is about 30k out of Timaru, but we've only made it to base camp. And where we're going is to about 4,500 feet where these guys hang out. Well, Richie and Nathan, God bless you. Thank you very much for the suggestion for a tar seal challenge. It's about three degrees outside. We're up at about 2,000 feet, and that there, lucky not to have a sheet of ice over the top of it. It's bloody freezing. This is a polar plunge. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Whoosh. <laughs> well, day 14 is just getting a wee bit better now. We're heading to four and a half thousand feet, so that's as high as we've been on this trip, up to the hunting lodge. And uh, this is some serious terrain and some serious four-wheel driving too. Oh, well, mate, this is uh, this is interesting because if you look to the right, there's a uh, there's a precipice, and uh, it'll go black if you slip over it. Don't you worry about that. Check this out, mate. Wow. And hey, look at the waterfall. Unbelievable. Well, how good's this, eh? Feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Well, I'm kind of halfway there, anyhow. Mate, you know, I reckon that, that there has been well earned today. G'day, boy. Cheers. Well, day 15, and we're heading for Wanaka, into the lakes regions. It's going to be a long drive today, but it's going to be well worth it. I mean, when we started this, we were in T-shirt and shorts and bathed in sun. Now, we're heading for snow. Well, we, you're quickly checking the bees, and we put some honey in. It smells okay. beautiful. Mm. Lovely smell. Yeah. Taste it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a beautiful honey. Now, do you know of any, uh, any good tracks? You, know? you, you can go in here. Yeah. And there's a big zigzag which is too steep for me. <laughs> Mate, even in this, even the old trusty highlights. Well, I probably do, but I have to squir squirm his wife a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, in the top end, it's not maintained very well, so. So we're gonna roll the sleeves up today, eh? Yeah, we might have. <laughs> well, we're just picking our way through the Lindus Valley, and our goal is up and over that hill, Wanaka. But look at this for weather. You've got to love Central Otago, don't you? How are you, mate? You going all right? Yeah, good. Are you the custodian, are you? I'm the bloody boss. Yeah. <laughs> Righty-ho. What do we have to do to get permission? I don't know. We've got a 24-pack? <laughs> yeah, we do, actually. <laughs> You've got this far. Well, We've got this far, mate. We've only got four days left. From here, we go to uh, Wanaka, Queenstown, Dunedin, then the yeah. Catlins, and then down to uh, Bluff for a couple of dozen bluffies. Yeah. You can bring some of them back, too, if the 24-pack is right. <laughs> Man after my own heart. <laughs> well, we're almost here. Behind us, you've got the Clutha River, which obviously runs out of Lake Wanaka. So, give us five minutes and she'll be right. Well, after all of this, we've got down to the Clutha River, but we're a bit shy. I mean, clearly, Wanaka is up that way, judging by the way the water's going. So we're gonna be doing a bit of backtracking. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, good. Well, just to compound matters, oh. uh, I'm oh. lost <laughs> until these buggers turn up and now I'm soaking wet. Is that a waterproof mat? No, not really. Well, I mean, I should have heard you bloody coming. But <laughs> what's it got in it? Uh, Lexus, Toyota Lexus V8. V8. Got rid of the old Mustang engine. I don't have a drive. Yeah, bloody oath, mate. I'll be getting this mustard. Crash course. He 
does nothing half cock, this fella. Jesus. Bloody brilliant. Well, we've come to the right place. We might park here tonight. It's close enough to Wanaka. You qualified to drive for shot over jet now? That'll do it. <laughs> Well, we heard you had uh, done a bit of tar sale driving yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's not on in the uh, country down here, so we've got a wee challenge for you. And uh, we're going to tie you on the back of this thing. You're going to wakeboard around there in your jocks. And uh, it's <laughs> reasonably warm today, <laughs> so uh, you, sh you should be right. Uh, All good. He's a beautiful man, isn't he? Yeah. He invites you and gives you a bed for the night because he knows this is coming the next day. Good, he's up. I'm going to get around this jump now. Yeah, around the jump. You stop. That's great. You're around the jump. Make the jump. OK, cut her in, Megha. Sorry, Megha. Whoops. Oh! <laughs> Mate, I've, I've hit the wall. The hands have gone. The body's gone. I think you've done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good as I can do. <laughs> Stay off the tar seal. I thought we might jump in the old motorbike here and uh, see if we can find your track to Queenstown. Sounds bloody perfect. You're not going to get me saying no to that. No, no. Right. Bring yeah. it. In you go. Warwick Trevor, Cotel, Sarah Hotels, lifting Ferguson's and vacating to uh, Lake Mackay Station for Ricky. This looks like it's a bit of a uh, high speed area through here. Yeah, no, give it heaps through here and that bit of mud there, don't worry about it. Deacon, what about up through here, mate? That looks like an amazing piece of dirt. It looks pretty, uh, pretty lumpy. Can we, Gary, we're going to get to the top of that lump there, the one with the, bit, uh, the, the, the clay on it? Made a man like you'll get up there, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'll die trying. <laughs> well, day 16, she started off with a hiss and a roar, but now we're on the trip proper. We're heading up and over the Cadrona Valley, down into Queenie. So, Tim, I, uh, I hear that we might be able to sneak through your property and get sort of somewhere we were going. Certainly. But Indeed. in the south, there's a few more rules. Rightio. Rule number one, mm -hmm. leave the gate the way you find it. Yep, OK. And that key will get you through the padlock that goes through the deer gates. Rightio, gotcha. Excuse and me. any general direction we should be heading in? Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on our way to Queenie, and I've got the keys to the gates. Well, I mean, check this out. This is breathtaking. We're up the top. Queenstown's only a uh, hop, skip and a jump away. So look how far up we've travelled and look how far we've got to go. This is stunning. Woohoo! Check this out. This is the top of the world. Amazing. Down to Queen. Well, there's one or two things when you're in this part of town you can't miss, and even though it's tar sealed, I'm not going past that. Well, the sun's setting on day 16, and as we come into Queenstown with a bit of snow on the hills, we've only got three days to go. Well, this is Thompson's track, and it could be only in one place with that sort of background. Central Otago. We're heading through to Renfairley, where we've got a fair convoy joining us en route to uh, Dunno's. Well, this is Paddy, our little mate who we found in Monica. He's now very much part of the team. So he's sitting front and centre. He'll be with us to the end. Oh, you might think it's a beautiful day and it looks warm, but check this out. Ice. It's pretty treacherous coming through here. Can we stop here for the night? <laughs> yeah, this is a task seal challenge, clearly. And uh, I don't think you need to be a genius to work out what the little round things that have been cut in half are. Uh, but I'm not too sure about the big pizzly looking thing. <laughs> Start with a plum. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's done a leak. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, this is rough, mate. <laughs> I reckon that's got to be pizzle. No, wash it down with one more nut. Well done. Done. <laughs> yep. Where are the keys? Oh. <laughs> mate, this has just been horrific. I've been brought in here, mate, to eat some knackers. I don't think it's a friendly honk either. It's hurry up, get on the road. Oh, and thankfully we are. 
We got a great big convoy, and ain't you a beautiful sight? We got a great big convoy, ain't nothing gonna stand in our way. We got a great big convoy across the many a total plain. Convoy. Well, check this out. We've got ourselves a convoy. Heading from Ranfurly right through to the Ah! I reckon it's every land cruiser in the district, surely. So you organised this, Fred, did you? Oh, I did indeed, yeah, with the help of my uh, fellow workers. You must know a few people, because we've got about 100 cars stacked up behind us. Yeah, they're coming along, but, but spread out like bloody brown cows, but... Uh... Yeah, it's all right, that's all right. We like to be at the front of the pack. Well, how about this? I mean, in front of 200 people, Jared's just got himself stuck. Same guy got stuck in the sand. You may have seen that clip. And he's meant to be our instructor. This is disgraceful. And what's your plan? Cruise on through, follow yeah. you and see what happens. No, You've got to get it stuck, though. You've got to try. That's dangerous, mate. That's dangerous. <laughs> you don't want to follow me. You'll be like a leaving off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> well, check this out. I mean, I've actually counted the cars and they're banked up behind you. We're somewhere in the vicinity of 100, which is just extraordinary. Well, from memory, uh, Dunedin's just over the bluff. And that's going to be the end of day 17. What a day. We've done over 4,000 K now, and we've been joined by over 100 Land Cruisers. Ha! What a ride. Well, Dunedin's turning on another beautiful day. This is day 18. We're not far from our final destination, and we're starting today with the Tar Seal Challenge. Ian, this one's for you. You want us to go up Baldwin Street, reversing, using only the side mirrors. Too easy. Well, it's just a matter of staying on the right hand side with the old rear vision, keeping a bit of speed on because you don't want to start tapping out. Steepest street in the world. And up we go. This is the steep bit now. Oh, yeah. Cheers, mate. Task done. Well, it's a penultimate day and we're leaving Dunedin. Always with a slightly heavy heart, I must concede. But we're headed for the Catlins, and it's a beautiful part of New Zealand with fine people and some challenging roads. Well, little known fact is when you're in Belclutha, you've got to pay the gatekeeper. And uh, to be fair, uh, the, the unofficial mayor is a chap who I uh, had a wee bit to do with. And uh, in order to pass through town, you have to come bearing gifts. Crazy eye. How are you, mate? Good to see you, man. <laughs> oh, it's all fish. Just, uh, yeah, no, look, just asking uh, permission to pass through your town. You most certainly have that. It's, uh, you're heading down the Catlins, I hear. Yeah, we are indeed. Yeah. A bit of wild country down there, though. Really? Very wild. Do you think it's going to test the FJ? I think it'll test it to its... Uh, to break, to break a point. <laughs> well, not to break a point, but hopefully to the max. Well, we must be getting pretty close to our destination because we came back from paying our toll in Balclutha and found a Swede. Look at that. Placed perfectly on a bonnet. Here comes Southland. <laughs> so, Gerald, beautiful view you got here, mate. Yeah. Yeah, now you can see all south of the Targa and it's threaded towards Dunedin and pretty well, full. After 18 days, mate, all I want to see is the Catlins. In front of us is a chap called G.I. Good fella and uh, local farmer. He's going to show us a couple of his tracks just past a sign that says Bridge Out. So he should probably be renamed G Up because, to be honest, I don't think we're going to make it. We'll wait and see. Well, I tell you what, mate, if he thinks this is a challenge, he's got another thing coming. After 18 days of driving the FJ, it'll walk through that. It'll do it in second gear. I'll do it in two-wheel drive. So, lads, you're the local legends. You must know a couple of... Uh, oh, mate, yes. <laughs> you're, you're more infamous, you're more famous, is that yeah, it? Yeah, 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 basically. Hey, uh, what, what, you got a couple of tracks you can throw the FJ at? Ah, oh, give it to us. Yeah. <laughs> We're stuck. Righty-o. Oh. These are the men I needed to meet. The rain's coming in. Yeah. We've got to be in Bluff at midday tomorrow. Are we going to make it? <laughs> You'll be lucky. Yeah. Oh. What's just happened? Oh, we've just had a little bit of a hiccup in that we've tried to... I mean, look at this. We're sliding all over the bloody show, man. Careful, bro. It's, uh, it's slippery, you know? See what's happening there to these, trunk, these guys? A bit trunky. We've just had a bit of a downpour, and it's relatively dry ground with some uh, grass on top, and it's just made it as slippery as ice. So, uh, given that we're half a day away, 
That'll be the end of that. Well, day 19. We're about to be farewelled by this fine crew as we head into the bluff. We've just got a couple of crosses for breakfast, and then we're there. Four hours off-road, and we hit the goal. So, mate, you own the, uh, the southernmost farm well, in New Zealand? Run after it, yeah, run it. Run it. it. Yeah, and this is a good day, I'm told. It's pretty reasonable, yeah. 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 Hey! Woo! The southernmost point of the South Island. Bluff may be the spiritual southernmost point, but this is it. Slope point. We've done it. Top to bottom, 19 days, over 4,000 kilometres, about 4,500 kilometres. Hey! Well, you're not going to believe this. I mean, we're running so late to catch up with Tim Shadbolt. Midday was the time we meant to be there, and now we hit our south in traffic jam. It's yeah. ridiculous. Thanks, mate. Well, we're just waiting for Mark at the moment. It's obviously been a long journey round the Catlins, the southern scenic route. Oh, God bless. Yeah, oh, yeah. here he is, too. Oh, well done, <laughs> mate. Good on you. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, oh. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, bloody stoked to have made it. Oh, you mind good. if we crack into one of these now? No, no, get into it. Good idea. Oh, no, you first. You first. You first. Oh. You you're the man. You're the. Uh, got the honours today. Oh. I'll tell you what, I've been talking about these for 19 days, as two of the crew. But it's so good to have finally made it. Really is. Mm. We couldn't have done it. Not without all the support of you guys, so thanks very much for helping us out. For everyone who helped and stopped along the way. For those guys who put us up, guys and girls. And for everyone who's come online and given us a few tips. Even the ones that are giving us dud tips. Cheers.